This is how to cook a venison steak in a cast iron skillet. First I want to make sure that my pan is smoking hot. You might have to open the windows. In fact, you, you probably should open the windows. But I got my nice cast iron skillet here, getting nice and hot. I can see that there's some smoke coming off of it. I'll put some oil in the pan. I can tell the pan's hot because the oil swishes around really fast. The next thing I'm going to do, season your venison. Now, when you get venison steaks, when you have a deer processed, most likely those little bags of steaks in your freezer are going to be venison New York strips. And they are really good eating. But it's kind of tricky to cook them because they overcook super 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 fast like you can see this one the guy that butchered it, it he left it much thinner in the middle so I'm gonna have to try to bunch that up to make sure that it doesn't overcook well, let's put that in the pan and then I'll press down on it make sure it gets a good sear a nice hard sear You kind of want to resist the urge to, uh, to mess around with it in the pan. It's kind of hard not to. I know you want to play with it. But eventually you'll see, kind of around the peripheries here, you will see that the color is getting a little darker and that it's time to flip the steak. Okay, it's almost there. You can also see I got the steak centered on the heat, right on the flame. I can probably get a little more sear right on here. I'll press that down for a sec. I'll flip it. And this is the ultimate culinary tool. This is my thermometer. And I can just stick it. Stick it inside. When it's warm, when this is warm, and I put it on my tongue or my lip. When that's warm, the steak is done. Now you got to let it rest. And clean out your cast iron skillet with some water and then scrub it with salt. But in about... In about four or five minutes, the steak is going to be rested, and then we can slice it and carve it and eat it alongside some lobster mushrooms.